Support for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB Fiber Optics, Blood Assurance, and Chambliss Startup Group. If you do your homework, you know, the odds of success are slim. But great ideas, innovation, and hard work can turn dreams into reality. I'm James Chapman. This is The Leap. Sometimes, innovation starts with a what if. I was an architect for 15 years okay. in Montgomery, Alabama. I was working at a, a mid-sized firm until an idea uh, started. I mean, he was reading some articles on some of the other people who are trying to figure out, all right, how do we 3D print stuff that's bigger than um, you know, just machine parts or Yoda heads? He started thinking about, all right, 3D printing is really good at creating shape. Why do any more with it than that? Why try and make 3D printing into what other conventional building methods already do very well? Um, why can't you just marry the two? And so his first sketch was this kind of, you know, it almost looked like the wall of a cave. Branch is basically 3D printing buildings. Okay. And what we do is combine 3D printing with conventional construction materials to enable a new way to construct buildings. Okay. They really have no geometric limitations. Yeah. Uh, so it opens up a wide array of possibilities for design and building and architects. The vision is to look at how things are made in the natural world and then begin translating that into how we can make things uh, in the built environment, whether okay. it be uh, walls or other things. The first realization of like how it actually began to work is this is a three doodler, it's a 3D printing pen, All right. uh, and so I drew this little piece uh, and then supported it and then uh, weighted it up with books and this little half ounce piece of plastic supported... It's strong enough to be able to hold those books. 18 pounds of books. The crazy thing is that's all I had when I left the firm. Really? Yes. So I look back at that, I'm like, oh my gosh, you were crazy. <laughs> they say that entrepreneurship is taking that leap off the cliff and then building the plane on the way down. Yep. Um, so it, it sounds like you guys had some of those similar experiences. The first step to solving those challenges was just to dive in. Yeah. Not worry so much about, uh, spend too much thinking about, am I smart enough to do this? Do I have, you know, do I know the right people? It was more like, well, we figure it out as we go along. And the risk paid off. In 2015, Branch won the Investor's Choice Award at Gig Tank's Demo Day, and they've succeeded in developing the largest free-form 3D printer in the world. I'm sure that this guy here uh, plays a huge part in Branch and what you guys do, right? Tell me about, mm -hmm. tell me about this guy. Right, so it's a really big industrial robot, and yeah. so it's a 12 and a half foot arm on a 33 foot track, giving it a print envelope of 25 feet wide by 58 feet long. That's crazy. Uh, so it is plenty capable of doing anything <laughs> sure, that sure. we need to do. All right, so talk to me a little bit about some of the capabilities that the, that the machine has. What, what can it do? Well, the machine is really one tool that we use to get to the end result. Okay. And so what we do is we make a scaffold uh, like this, that's 3D printed, and okay. we use the machine to do that. Instead of asking how much you can 3D print, we're asking how little you can 3D print and then uh, use other economical construction materials to make the, the strength and function of a normal wall assembly. So in this case, it includes spray foam insulation and concrete, interior finish like uh, sheetrock, yeah. exterior finish like a stucco type uh, finish. Okay. And so it's something that once it's all together, it yeah. functions as a real wall. It's this that allows for the geometric freedom of a column uh, like that. Yeah. Uh, and so what we start with is just that plastic, it is carbon fiber reinforced plastic. And it, this piece that weighed about a pound and a half uh, supported 1,500 pounds yeah. just on the plastic. Yeah. But once you add the spray foam, uh, a piece that was similar uh, shape to that, something that weighed, I think, 28 ounces, held up 6,000 pounds. Wow. So it's almost three times as strong as wood stud construction. So the concept for the business is that we build things like this in modules uh, and fit them together like big Legos on site. And it doesn't have to necessarily be just a wall. Yeah. We can do ceiling assemblies, um, 
we've been approached by an aerospace company to do wings. This definitely has potential for things beyond nice. architecture. It's really any large um, object where having a really complex shape is important. Tell me what we have here behind us. Tell me about the, this body of work behind us. So these are a series of wall panels that we produced uh, for the Enterprise Center okay. that are a, it's a 3D uh, topo map and it shows all the, uh, all the terrain surrounding downtown Chattanooga. One of the you know, great things about uh, Chattanooga is, is the landscape that we have here. Mm. And so I thought kind of these, uh, pairing those two aspects of Chattanooga's identity as a city in the south um, being you know, innovation and also just the natural beauty of uh, the mountain ranges and the river. The reason we moved the business here uh, was one, the entrepreneurial ecosystem here in Chattanooga is yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, there's a 3D printing community that's being built up here in Chattanooga that's yep. developing brand new technologies. Uh, and then just the community support yep. uh, and excitement uh, about what we're doing. That yeah. has just, that's blown us away. Yeah. I mean, it's really been amazing. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. So, so talk to me about where you guys are headed. What's the, what's the vision? What's next? So this is a pretty good example of where we started off, which is more decorative um, interior panels. Yeah. We started off with that um, because it was kind of the low-hanging fruit. And then as we've continued to develop um, our machine, our software, um, we'll be going through a process of testing uh, the actual building components that we produce so that you know, we can comply with building codes and all the stuff that's you know, not as fun, but it's really important if you want to sell. Uh, 3D printed uh, buildings. Branch Technology has embraced a rapidly growing 3D printing community by hosting the first ever design competition for a 3D printed house, allowing the public to submit designs that take advantage of their groundbreaking technology. If you could 3D print a building, what does it look like? Yeah. You know, we're inviting everybody to be a part of that. Yeah. Um, you know, and envisioning what where this technology could yeah. go. We're very excited to see yeah. the response uh, and can't wait to see the results of what, pe what designers come up with. Yeah. 3D printing um, has really become a uh, community, the whole, uh, you know, it's really interrela interrelated with this, uh, this theme of innovation. Yeah. Is the 3D printing digital fabrication makers community getting people making things again. And so we're hoping to be a part of that um, and in some ways lead it in a direction it's not been able to go before. Yeah. So we hope that um, by using 3D printing, by making creative freedom affordable, people are going to be shocked that the architect, not in New York or um, in Rome or London, yeah. but the architect they know actually has the talent to be able to build stuff like yeah. that if he's given a technology that's capable of realizing it. If you're a fan of Greater Chattanooga, support it. Becoming a sustaining member of WTCI is easy and affordable, and it makes a big difference. Visit greaterchattanooga.org slash donate. Thanks.